Hey guys, it's Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my top five drugstore makeup items that I think everyone should have. These are in no particular order, so I'm just gonna grab them as they come. So let's start off with concealer. My favorite drugstore concealer is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 10 Light, and I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it a million times. Basically, this is like an amazing dupe for the NARS um, Creamy Concealer. Um, it's packaged pretty much exactly like that, um, but I use this instead of the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer because um, I've run out of that and I found that it's way too expensive and I don't know, I feel like this does just as good as a job for like half the price so by me this is like definitely what I would prefer. The colour that I use is 10 light, I think it's the second lightest colour. Um, for me, like I'm not overly tan and I'm not at all pale so it's kind of like the perfect shade for me, um, gives me just a tiny little bit of a highlight under my eye. Um, but nothing crazy. I found that this one is super blendable and it doesn't crease. Um, I can work for quite a long time and it'll like last for ages. Um, there's nothing that I can really fault about this and I have pretty much raved about this to all my friends and family and um, they've all gotten on that bandwagon too because it's just amazing. But this colour I think is the most popular out of most girls so that's why it's always sold out. So when I do get it, I keep it and I've always got a backup in my vanity. So that's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 10 Light. So next is a pressed powder that I use to set my under eye concealer. Um, but basically I have found that when I want to have a no makeup day, I actually lean towards this. Um, because it is in the color natural, it's not like the lightest shade. Um, and it's got a little bit of coverage in it that I can get away with doing that all over my face. Um, and it does, it's got like enough coverage to hide things that I don't like. So red marks, freckles, dark circles, I can chuck that on and it looks amazing. And that's just in the natural color. So um, if I did want to go that full like next step and just want to have an overall based um, powder foundation, I would probably go the next color up. That way I've got a little bit more color as it is a little bit too light for me. Um, but while I'm using the natural, I'll just use that underneath my eye to set my concealer. Um, it just kind of brings that lightness from the concealer back to like a more neutral color to match my foundation. Um, and it's like, it dries really matte, but it's quite soft and it's just, it's amazing. And the feeling of it is just insane. But yeah, I really love this powder. I've been using this for probably three years, like every single day. So that's the Australis Fresh and Flawless in Natural. So while we're sticking to the face, I might as well tell you my favorite drugstore foundation, and I'm sure you already know what it is, but it's the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Matte 24 Hour. Um, and this is in the color 24 Golden Beige, and that's the color that I use every single day. Um, even when I'm tan, I find that it's still suitable for me, um, and even when I'm not tan, it's still decent. Um, I would never go any lighter than this. I did try it, and it was just way too light for me. Um, so this is pretty much my stick to color and I can't like rave about this foundation enough. I have always liked a matte finish, I've never been one for like a dewy finish. Um, I just find that I don't like that sweaty, wet look. I like to be quite matte I guess and I know sometimes that's like a bit flat but then I have bring other things into that like contouring. Um, highlight and blush to stop making you so flat and I found that that still works fine so this is a foundation that you literally put on blend in and it dries matte like it's so matte I, I, I don't know how they made a product like that but it literally cuts out so much time for me having to set my foundation because it dries in itself it's a two-in-one product and the coverage is insane it is Better than MAC, like, and I'm a MAC girl, but I have stopped using MAC, I've stopped spending $50 on a MAC foundation, and I've totally moved to this, which is like $30, and I always get this on special, which ends up being about $20 from Priceline. It does sell out like crazy, because I think a lot of other people do really do enjoy this, but watching other tutorials and stuff, I've never seen anyone else use it, so I'm not, I'm not understanding where these girls are coming from that are loving it so much, but it needs to be raved about more. This is a foundation that I have switched my mum, and my best friend, my sisters, they were all MAC girls and they are all now on this bandwagon and I don't think they're going back either, especially because of the price and the kind of product it is. It's quality product. So yeah, I use the color 24 Golden Beige and it's the Infallible 24 Hour Matte 
by L'Oreal Paris. Now for my last two products, they're both um, to do with the eyes, and I'm going to start with the another L'Oreal product. Um, these are the these are an old product too. The L'Oreal Paris La Colère. Colère. It's a in, it's from the Infallible range as well, and basically it's just a like a pressed um, pigment, and it's like quite shimmery. And I will swatch them for you because they need to be seen to just realize how amazing they are. But these are the two colors that I like the most, and they are the 002 Hourglass Beige, and is that the same color? Oh no, Golden Beige. And the 004 Forever Pink. So this one's like a champagne-y color, but it's, it's more on the pink side, which is not usually for me, but I feel like it blends so amazing that you don't need to worry about the pink in it. And this one's pretty stark gold, so I'll use this one with like blacks. Um, but this one I use with like my orange bases and browns. And last but not least, I recently did a video on this product, but it's literally that amazing that I need to put it in my top five. Um, this is the Cherry Bloom Fiber Lash Extension Mascara. Um, basically, it's just a transplanting gel mascara, and then you put fiber on, and then you set it with the transplanting gel again. Um, now, please don't, this video is not sponsored this time around, so this is literally just my opinion. But I have been using this every single day since I've gotten it, and I've received so many compliments. My eyelashes have just been looking so much more full and, like, black and long and it's insane how incredible this product is and like I said in my other video I hate fiber lashes like I hate those kind of mascaras that people rave on about but this is insane and it doesn't make you look like you're wearing spiderwebs on your eyelashes um, so yeah I don't really know if it's a drugstore as such but it's not high end either but it was definitely worthy of putting it in this video I do know that you can buy it from any local Zubia store so I feel like it's definitely like easy enough to get your hands on, you've just got to go to a Zubia store. But yeah, this has definitely made it into my every single day makeup routine because without it, like, I would just have just normal black short lashes with just a normal mascara. But with this, like, I literally don't even have to apply lashes. Being the day, I wouldn't really want to anyway. So with this, it kind of like makes it look like I naturally have false lashes on, if that makes sense. But yeah, definitely worth looking into with this product. It's the Cherry Blooms. Um, fiber Lash Extension Mascara. Well, that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If there's anything that I've included in this video that you guys absolutely love as well, please let me know because I really haven't found many people that share the same love for these products as I feel like there should be because they are really, really amazing and so affordable too. So that's always like a plus, definitely. If you guys have any products that you use from the drugstore that you absolutely love and just can't rave enough about, please let me know about them because I'm always up for trying new products, especially when they're so cheap and affordable and they're right down the road. So, so easy for me to get. Just please don't know anything that is sold out because I will cry. Like I hate loving something and then it sells out I'm like no. If you guys did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up it would help me out a lot it makes me see if you guys actually are enjoying my content so I can see what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong so yeah it does help me out a lot if you give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Also please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also all my social media links are down in the description bar so make sure you add me on my Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!